that's fair because were that to be the case, then you'd be accusing Yip Man of nothing more substantial than sheer hubris. Uh, no, that's in, that's unfair because here's something, an example of how Yip Man's approached this would be um, would be the, his account of his experiences of working and living in the Republic of China, where as he was, as a lot of Western people are referred to as a, as a white ghost. Now, Yip Man takes this one stage further. He refers to him himself as a skinny white ghost. Um, the, the levels of bravery Yip Man is, is displaying here are, are, are manifest, because this is a man, you must remember, who was referred to as a skinny white ghost when he was living and working in Paisley, for God's sake. I think it was the I think it was the great Scottish aphorist Don Patterson who referred to who who, who describes how, how how we move through life as if as if one were ghost and how how the how furniture somehow feels towards um, human beings as if we we are a, path, a pathetic apparition uh, moving through a room with no degree of permanency. Yet man's having a having a look at this situation and reflecting it back on himself, which is intensely brave. The the the, the, the Latin word for this, I think, it's called cordulastica uh, uh, annulatus, and I think he's he has he's harnessed this and reflected it back through the music of such intense vivaciousness. It, it can be it, it can be nothing other than applauded, surely.